Hey everyone, today we will be making bacon wrapped shrimp coated with a maple bourbon glaze over a twice baked potato with a side of asparagus. To make this lovely creation, we will be using the In Sky Air Fryer. And guys, I am super, super excited about this! In Sky actually reached out to me and sent me this beautiful air fryer just so we can try it out and try some of their recipes. I will be reviewing this air fryer and I will be completely honest, so do not worry. Oh, it's swanky! Alright, so the air fryer comes in the sleek black box and when it comes out, it looks exactly like the picture and it's so pretty. <laughs> The type of air fryer I'm using specifically is the 10.6 quarts 1500 watt electric air fryer oven with LED digital touchscreen. It also works as a dehydrator and a rotisserie, which is so cool! On the touchscreen, there are different cooking modes. These will automatically go to a default cooking time and temperature. The different cooking modes are french fries, steaks and chops, fish, shrimp, pizza, chicken, baking, and rotisserie. You can increase or decrease the temperature or the time by pressing the plus or minus signs on each side. There's a preheat button, a rotating button, which rotates the rotisserie basket, and the light so you can see your food cooking through the window. Did I mention there's a window? I think the window is awesome. The air fryer comes with six accessories. All right, so first we have the drip tray. You slide this into the lowest sliding chute to collect any dripping oil or residue. It makes it easier for cleaning the inside of the air fryer. Next are the two mesh racks. You slide these into the upper two sliding chutes. After that, we have the rotisserie basket. I especially love the rotisserie basket. It makes everything cook evenly. It's pretty easy to put into. Surprisingly enough, it came with skewers, which is pretty cool as well. You can use the skewers to cook meat and vegetables. And they give you quite a lot of skewers, which is nice. Eight to be exact. The next accessory is the removal tool. This is so you can remove your rotisserie basket from the air fryer safely. Last but not least, we have the rotisserie shaft. This is used to roast a whole chicken or relatively large pieces of meat. So of course, I'm going to have to make a tiny turkey for Thanksgiving using this thing because it is cool. By the way, the accessories are dishwasher safe. And of course, the air fryer comes with an instruction manual. This tells you how everything works in more detail. Make sure to always read the instruction manual. The last thing I want to show you is the recipe book. The air fryer comes with a recipe book with 32 recipes. As you can see, I've already bookmarked the ones I want to try. The recipes we will be trying today are the bacon wrapped shrimp and the baked potato. Alright, so now that we have gone over everything with the air fryer, let's get started with the video. Alright, so since I've never actually made bacon wrapped shrimp before, I decided to make some practice shrimp. I cleaned and deveined three pieces of shrimp. I lightly seasoned two shrimp with paprika, pepper, and a little bit of onion powder and garlic powder. I didn't add a bunch of seasonings because the salt from the bacon was going to season our shrimp. And adding any other seasonings like seasoned salt, creole, or old bay would make the shrimp too salty. Adding the paprika was to give the shrimp some color. Now I just placed two pieces of bacon on the mesh rack. I cooked the bacon in the air fryer at around 380 degrees for 
I think about seven to eight minutes. And the bacon cooked really well, so you can not cook bacon in the air fryer. However, I cooked the bacon too long and it being this cooked made it difficult to wrap around the shrimp. I cooked another piece of bacon, decreasing the time to five minutes. The bacon was only partially cooked, making it easy to wrap around the shrimp. Plus, I also knew it was going to cook evenly with the shrimp. I removed my bacon wrapped shrimp from the cutting board and added it to a plate. Then I wrapped it in some plastic wrap and placed it in the fridge to rest for 30 minutes. The other piece of shrimp was to test out the recipe in the book. The recipe in the book said to wrap the piece of bacon around the shrimp, let it rest in the fridge for 30 minutes, and then to cook it. However, I already knew that bacon takes a really long time to cook and shrimp takes a short time to cook. And since I like my bacon cooked cooked, I knew these two pieces were not going to evenly cook together. Which is why I did the first test where I partially cooked the bacon and then wrapped it around the shrimp. I also removed the cooked bacon from the cutting board before I wrapped the raw bacon so they didn't cross contaminate. The instructions said to place your bacon wrapped shrimp inside the rotisserie basket. Then it said to cook the bacon wrapped shrimp at 390 degrees for 7 minutes. After my first two practice shrimp were finished cooking, I cleaned my rotisserie basket and then added my other practice shrimp with the raw bacon. Then the instructions said to place your bacon on a mesh rack and then place it inside the air fryer at 390 degrees for 2-3 to three more minutes. Alright, so as you can see, partially cooking the bacon works really well. It evenly cooks with the shrimp so you don't have to overcook your shrimp and undercook your bacon. The way the recipe book said to cook the bacon wrapped shrimp worked really well. The only thing I would change is that I would partially cook the bacon before wrapping it. Because while the shrimp does cook evenly, the bacon isn't as cooked as I would prefer. This is only my opinion. Some people may like it like this. By the way, the two other bacon wrapped shrimps were from Publix, we just wanted to see how well they would cook. Alright, now that we know exactly what to do, we can start cooking for real. I've already cleaned and duvet my shrimp, and now I'm just seasoning them like I did before. Honestly, you don't even need any seasonings. The bacon and the maple glaze we're going to make later will give it enough flavor. Now wrap your shrimp in the partially cooked bacon. To make sure the bacon stayed in place and stuck onto the shrimp, I used skewers. I decided to use the wooden skewers instead of the skewers that were provided with the air fryer because I realized it didn't fit inside the rotisserie basket, so I couldn't use it for this recipe. By the way, when using wooden skewers, make sure to soak them in water so they don't catch on fire. Once the bacon wrapped shrimp were finally ready, I placed them inside the rotisserie basket. I cook the bacon wrapped shrimp at 390 degrees for 7 minutes. After the bacon wrapped shrimp were finished cooking in the rotisserie basket, I placed them on a mesh rack and then cooked them at 390 degrees for 2-3 to three more minutes. While the bacon wrapped shrimp are cooking, we're going to make our maple bourbon glaze. In a small saucepan over medium low heat, add 1 4th cup of dark brown sugar. Then add 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, 3 tablespoons of maple syrup, and 2 tablespoons of bourbon. Mix everything together and then cook your glaze until the sugar has melted. When your sugar has melted and your glaze is slightly thick, take it off the heat. Your glaze will become thicker as it cools. Once everything is cooked and ready, you can go ahead and coat your bacon wrapped shrimp in the maple bourbon glaze.
Make sure to coat both sides of your shrimp. After that, you are all finished with your bacon wrapped shrimp. Now we're going to move on to the twice baked potato. First, clean your potatoes. By the way, we're going to be using the recipe for a baked potato from the recipe book. This wasn't in the recipe, but I pierced some holes into the potato. Wrap your potatoes in tin foil. Place both potatoes in the rotisserie basket. Place the basket inside the air fryer. Cook the potatoes at 390 degrees for 50 minutes. I don't think I showed it before, but here's me using the removal tool to remove the rotisserie basket from the air fryer. Now that your potatoes are cooked, go ahead and remove it from the tin foil. Cut your potato in half and then remove the insides and place it into a bowl. Quick disclaimer, I used the recipe for a baked potato from the recipe book. However, the twice baked potato recipe that I'm about to make with the baked potato is not from the recipe book. Use a potato masher to mash your potatoes. Now add a half a cup of sour cream and one fourth cup of milk. After you've mixed all that together, add two tablespoons of softened butter, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth cup of fontina cheese, one fourth cup of mild cheddar cheese, and one fourth cup of green onions. Mix everything together until well combined. Place your empty potato on the mesh rack. Using the filling we just made before, fill your potato back up. Place some sharp cheddar or mild cheddar cheese on top. Place your baked potato back into the air fryer and cook them at 390 degrees for 2-3 to three minutes or until the cheese has melted. Alright, so finally we're going to cook our asparagus. Melt some butter on a large pan over medium heat. Then add your asparagus. Lightly season with some pepper. And if you want, you can add a bit of your glaze. Cook your asparagus until it has a slight bend. After that, you are all finished. And this is the final product. It looks so good! And it tasted delicious. By the way, I did use the recipe book to cook the bacon wrapped shrimp and the baked potato. However, I did add my own twist to it like the maple bourbon glaze and the twice baked potato part. My thoughts on the InSky air fryer are that it's amazing. It's absolutely awesome. It's my new favorite thing. I love the rotating basket and how it evenly cooks everything and I like how easy it is to clean in the window and the light. I love it all. Everything I made using the air fryer was evenly cooked and delicious. There are so many more recipes in the book that I want to try like dessert so I might be making more videos using the air fryer. I want to thank InSky for giving me the opportunity to use their air fryer and make a video on it. The link for the air fryer that I used will be down in the description. I totally recommend that you get it if you're looking for an air fryer. I had so much fun using the air fryer and making this delicious meal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in the video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!